Now, who can relate to this? I am so done with being sick and so tired of hearing about people being sick on my team. It's just, oh man, it's just been the worst. It's been the probably the roughest winter, last couple months uh, that we've ever had on our worship team. I mean, almost everybody has gotten the flu at one time or another since Christmas. I mean, it's just, it's been madness. So. A lot of us have been using stuff like this and all kinds of other stuff. And I want to be sure that we're doing everything we can to not continue to spread these germs. And it, it kind of made me think, okay, what's the one thing that a lot of our team puts their mouths on? Microphones. Yeah, these things right here. And, you know, we touch them, of course, and that can spread germs. But we basically put our mouths on the grills and I know some people actually do rest it up against their lips as they sing um, the spittle just gets trapped in there germs get trapped in the grill and in the padding and it's just it can be nasty and we don't know what kind of germs these things could be harboring uh, we don't know what kind of you know sicknesses are spread with just our microphones and I just want to make sure that we're doing everything we can by keeping them clean and properly cleaning them on a regular basis, like once a month, once every other month, because I can't clean them every single second. So we're gonna do what we can, and I'm gonna actually go to the computer right now and see how Sure recommends that we keep these things clean. Let's go. This is straight from Sure themselves. You finally invested in a high quality, okay. The best way to clean a microphone is to remove the grill. Once the grill is removed, it can be thoroughly cleaned without damaging the mic. Okay. The most important thing to remember, all right, so this should be pretty good. Most important thing is remember, let the grill dry completely before reattaching the microphone. We'll make sure we do that. Okay, so it looks like we need a toothbrush. I don't have one here, so we'll go to the store and get one. And then we'll grab, um, we'll go ahead and grab, make sure we have the dish soap. I think we have some in the kitchen here. So let's go get that stuff and get the mics and then go to the kitchen. All right, let's go. I didn't want to use an old one. I, somebody said, like, on, I watched the video or something. Somebody's like, oh, yeah, just use a, use an old toothbrush. No. The whole point of this is cleaning the mic. I don't want to put your nasty germs on my mics. All right. And we also have some, It's I don't know if it's a mild detergent, but it's a detergent. Uh, washes away bacteria. Ajax. Not a sponsor. All right. So we're just going to get started. We're hanging out in the kitchen. This is a church kit. This is, like, quintessential medium to small church kitchen. Let's just start. We're going to start with um, our uh, Sure Beta 87As. I'm going to set these aside uh, probably somewhere over here so that way they don't actually get wet. But I'm going to take all these grills off. Now let's see how easy it is to take this out. They said use uh, tweezers or, oh, how about some needle nose? That'll work. Oh yeah. See? And they're nasty too. These are really dirty, so I'm gonna get them clean. That one just fell apart. Like seriously, oh my gosh. Okay, whichever mic this one in, we're not ever using this again. Look at that. That's nasty. That's why you clean them. It's never been done with these mics. I'm glad we're doing it today. Ew. And uh, one of the th videos I watched, they said you can just, just you know, wash it like you would, you know, some dishes or whatever. So for these little guys, I'm gonna do that. Get some nice warm water. Get it nice and wet. Use some Ajax. Might be too much, that's okay. I just want to make sure it's all nice and rinsed out. Right, we'll throw them over there. The mic grill getter. This is patent pending micro here. Yeah, this just became a movie now. We got a crisis. Oh gosh. I got it! 
All right, so I learned my lesson. I'm gonna put the plug in the. Uh, I'm gonna put the plug in the thing because I don't want that. <laughs> intern to be doing this stuff. Why am I doing this stuff? Carlos, you want to be an intern? <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to do something that they didn't really say you needed to do. And I wish I had a squirt bottle, you know, like a little spray bottle. That's all right. So I'm going to hit these with some alcohol. I got that 91% alcohol. And I'm just putting it over the top. I don't know. You know, when you, when you grow up in the South, it's like we gargle this kind of stuff if you have a sore throat. So it's like, why not? Just hit it. Done. Okay, last one. No, don't do that. That's it. I'm gonna wait until these get nice and dry before I put them back, just like the thing said, um, just to make sure I'm not hurting the microphone. But they should be dry in about, uh, I don't know, an hour or so. I might hit, uh, put a fan on them or something. So. But we appreciate you so much for watching, hanging out with us while we clean these mics today. Subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Let's go.